Greetings everyone, here's Lotric again and this is a game Strategic Command World War 1. This is my play by email match. This will be now turn 11, I think. Uh, yeah. So we are in the winter, or normally we're closing into spring of 1915. Maybe it's already. The inactive turns are soon over. Maybe this is the last uh, resupply, reorganization turn. After. The winter is normally not good for fighting, only to shift stuff around. It's a good time to make desert air um, warfare, but uh, Ottomans just enter the war, so they were not prepared for this. And the British also only yeah, dig in at the border to Palestina. Let's see. Oh, a Russian ship gets trapped. Ah, uh, but the Germans lost the next next track not. I was not sure if the Russians have a dreadnought ready for operation in range. This game was really not so lucky for me with the uh, with the navy, but here was a submarine making a successful attack on the enemy dreadnought. So the Austrian submarine commander was more lucky. He don't sunk the enemy dreadnought but sent it back to port. And to repair dreadnoughts are also very expensive. So the Russian lost the light cruiser but I lot of, lost the dreadnought. A lot of other stuff's coming here. So Denmark is angry. Norwegian is angry. Sweden is angry with the Entente because they are taking neutral shipping. And other stuff happens. Germany gets a new destroyer. Okay, helps in the East Sea or Baltic Sea. The German first dedicated fighter wing also arrived for the West Front because there's normally only air war on the West Front. Good, let's see if I can do here anything special with this, uh, with my leftover forces. With the Russians, I could attack here the enemy destroyer, is already heavily damaged, why not? That is nice. Then I can see also if there's enemy other ships nearby. This failed. And there's a heavy cruiser. So I could uh, try to launch an uh, airstrike against this uh, destroyer. Yes, and then return to port. Then I have here my battle cooler, but before I do this, I better try first my submarine hunt. This is not so successful. And now it's maybe time for my battle cruiser to go out. Okay, nice. And maybe the destroyer can finish off the enemy destroyer. Uh, still not done. So I maybe. It's a little unlucky, I have nothing to really finish them off. Uh, then I let, must let them escape. I really have nothing to send after them. I cannot use a half destroyed destroyer and then... And maybe I can't... Uh, because then I lose this own destroyer. I could try... 
No, escaped. Yeah. Anyway, some successes for the German Navy. Maybe I can repair here my submarine. If it's, I think, two damage, you need always two turns to repair. You can, I think there's a limit to go first to eight and then from eight to ten. Good. And other things here. East front. Can we attack here? To not the best ratio. But maybe uh, one to one kill ratio. This will open the front completely, but I can try. So, I destroyed one more corp. Now I'm of course here completely open. So I get here my units in position. Fall back. Only these are blo detachments are block force, nothing more. So, and this and they do. So this also offers me with Hindenburg now the opportunity to maybe. Uh, wait, let me check. I must always keep in mind the supply situation is a seven. I don't want that the Russians. I think the Russians have a detachment here. They could walk here down and attack my HQ. But I'm behind the river, so it's unlikely that they can really damage me. I would say this is safe. The forest also make it impossible for the Russian to swing around, not in one turn. So, I think this is safe. This was a good successful operation. Again, this gives pressure on Riga. If the Germans can take Riga, this is also a good uh, blow or hard blow for the Russians. Together with Vilna. Vilna is the capital of uh, Lithuania. Lithuania. Lettland is uh, here. Riga and Revel. Yeah. Good. Central Polish front. The, Rus the Russians closing in and don't hold uh, the front. And I have not the power to really strike them. So I would say today is rest day in Poland. Don't get too cocky. Rest. And next turn. Every unit is a mix. Oh, there's an enemy HQ. Okay. The artillery also must move forward. Closing in. Good. Uh, I could also. No. No. I better forge the one back. Yeah, it's okay. Don't need more. The front with Austria is also. And the Russians are very static. No change more. Uh, Austria get already the entrenchment plus one, so I have now entrenchment three. So the first three attacks must attack the entrench. So first, the fourth attack will have a advantage normally. Uh, so I need to uh, only build up here my artillery before I can really use it. And. I really don't need to do here anything. I could go here and for the HQ, but this is a fortress, so it's also strong. I can make a... No, no, I better stay here. Stay and wait. These units are low on supply. These are all in supply. This one is maybe not good in supply. 
I could give some elite training enforcements, but I think the time is not right for this. Oh, this unit is uh, out of supplies, in bad shape, no morale, I can try to kick them and fall back. Unluckily, I have... Ah, the Germans could help. But if I stay here, then I'm also out of range. Hmm. And maybe I strike against Serbia. Ooh. Hmm. Sorry, there is nothing I can do here now. Ah, uh, this unit is not an HQ location. Then I must maybe... No, I can reattach you. Okay. Good to know. No. Some training, I mean of course both units are getting XP so it doesn't really help me too much. But yeah. So next submarine go in silent mode, trying to reach the enemy lines. I also changed location, ah oh, I detected a British submarine is operating here. For sure it's do something dirty. And uh, yeah, I need normally a corp. First, I need to max out here the units before it's too late. My HQ is trying to reach the front line. I need a little more reinforcements normally here. If I had something. How is the uh, political situation with Italy? Ooh, 75 already. Okay, then it's very likely that Italy will join in the next one or two turns. Uh, but I have really nothing to spare. Where I get the Italy, uh, Australian Corp, what I can spare? I can only use this unit maybe next turn. I don't know if next turn is still good enough. Hmm. I really miss one corp. This corp is normally a little wasteful. If I uh, yeah, I think one one thing is possible. I move this unit here, then I say operate. Send it here, then I operate this unit back here and move here inside. Good. Let's see how this works. Uh, okay. Um, I 
I still need my HQ support normally. Hopefully, I can be next turn here in range. Good, uh, East Front is done. Ah, a German cavalry corps arrived right here. Better fill up the ranks. Yeah. East Front is fine. West Front. Anything to see? Not really. Enemy Paris. Let's bombard Paris. No, no, no bombardment. Only finding enemies everywhere. Good. I really normally need to attack a leash, so I will try to bring in my artillery now. Uh, where I could walk? And maybe move a little closer in trench here. Move forward. Move forward. In the next turn, I can shell the position. Good. The fighter, no, the recon can move forward. Uh, maybe next turn. Nothing else happened here. Submarine in position. Good. Ottomans. Yeah, what I can do here. This is not helping. I have here only one destroyer. This one I maybe must fix to get rid of the enemy sub. Cost me a lot of money for the Ottomans. And I also can fix this pre-dreadnought because there is not more. This is a German battle cruiser. The Ottoman battleship is yeah stolen by the British, and this is everything what is left for the Ottomans in this case. Good HQ is still moving. Here the same moving. I can wait here. The situation here, I can reinforce. This unit also is low on supplies, okay. So there is a HQ, but maybe on this side and not here. For me, it is now maybe time to move forward with my HQ, but this is a rank two HQ, so you can see it maybe how shitty it is. And the best one I have a six. You won't replace it yet for sure. Uh, oh, I don't know. Ground cover? I don't. Yeah, I think it was a six. Okay, so I could make a scout and see. No, I better reinforce also this unit. How is the supply situation next turn? Hmm. It's better to move forward for me. And have better supplies here. Six, six, six. Okay. No change here. The rebellion lowered the local supply, so I need wait to wait for the HQ. Palestina front is the last. So the British are here. They control the readiness, but they have low morale. My HQ is at four. And I have nothing to replace him. Four is the best. I think Sunder is a five, yeah. Sunder couldn't take over, then I have a better HQ. Uh could attack you. 
This unit is not ready. I could wait one more turn. Here's an eight supplies, yeah. Then six. If I attack here, you can see, even if the enemy morale is so weak, it's not really helping me too much, so I deck in here. This one I reinforce. Then I move this unit more front line. And maybe next turn. There's really not much to win for me. If I cannot destroy the British forces here, if I let them escape, uh, then I win nothing. Good. Um, no money left for Ottomans. But so far everything is, this is normal, this is stable, there's not more. Really Ottomans only hold, they never really attack. There's no need. You can attack, but you don't must conquer anything. No landing here in Gallipipo. Galli... Gallipoli. Good. So, I would say more money to spend for air and D. But Germans air and D is nearly full. Okay, 50 is still left. 50, 50. Anti-submarine warfare for Germany, yes. Now it's maxed out. And Austria have already maxed out. Okay. I still waiting for better infantry equipment. Ah, Germany is really slow with this. Austria have a much better chance to get a boost. Good. Then I wait. I keep my money. Because Germany will get the next turn normally the production bonus, so it's everything gets cheaper. I wait for this for Germany, and for Austria I wait for the better infantry weapons. Because once you you can also upgrade a unit, but if you upgrade a unit, the unit is more or less cannot be used in the turn, and I think it's also cheaper to buy them with the new equipment immediately. The only other option would be like is odd. I could fix my ships. The question is what I want to do. I can. The, the problem is if uh, the Entente control this port and this port because Italy joined the war, it is impossible to really go out if the enemy warships blocking in the port. If you don't have scout information, so submarines are normally the better way for Austria to go. I could fix my ships only simply to fix them, but I also see no way. I better keep the money because once I rebuild the Austria army, then I need a lot of money in short time. So I keep it like this. Last check. All done. This is done. Done. Nothing more flashing. Yeah. End of turn. This was April. Spring is coming or spring is here already. You want it to turn? Yes. Sweden is still angry. Italy prepare for war. More German submarines in the Baltic. The British blockade the German trade. The German gets a huge boost. Ah, huge. At the boost for fighter, and they're getting the subs already won, and production development. Austria gets a big boost for trench warfare already, Oof, and they have already level one, so this is level two. Ottomans getting better control of units, so they're getting the and trench warfare, so they also get this. So this was a good AD turn for me. Nicely. Good, and more money pulling in. Then upload and see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.